So what is the art of commerce? Maybe it first began in 1979 when an English technologist applied his creativity and imagination to the age-old activity of buying and selling, using his TV to buy groceries. And before long, we were inventing ways to sell just about anything we could think of online. The meaning of life sold for just $3.26, while an Australian sold his entire life for $305,000. That's more than enough to buy a 50,000-year-old woolly mammoth, William Shatner's kidney stone, and a Virgin Mary grilled cheese sandwich. In fact, we've created ways to buy all our basic needs online, like food, shelter, even love. And we've even invented ways to sell things that don't physically exist, like virtual shoes to wear to a virtual nightclub. In 2012, global e-commerce sales passed $1 trillion. That's enough to buy an army of 1 million ASIMO robots, or America's bacon supply, for 500 years. We constantly invent new ways to express ourselves through commerce. Americans spend $3.2 billion on candy and flowers to celebrate being in love, while the Chinese spend almost the same amount celebrating being single. And when mobile devices paired with our own creativity, we can now buy and sell almost anything from almost anywhere. In 2012, 9 million Americans secretly shop during business meetings, 4 million shop while in their car, and 38 million while on the can. In Japan, 87% of all flights are purchased on a mobile device, and one guy even used his phone to buy an entire airplane. Feedback was positive. Just last year, we spent over $170 billion without even setting foot in a store. And that's more than the combined GDP of over 66 countries. In fact, this new art is evolving so fast that while you are watching this video, $5 million in online sales will take place, $650,000 will be mobile transactions, and $500,000 will be transacted on PayPal. So what is the art of commerce?